Brian Weir here. Not only do I rant about education on YouTube, but I also fix computers on the side. I had a computer client call me up the other day and tell me that he felt his computer got hacked. So I go up to his house and meet with him. He tells me this sad story. He got a pop-up on his browser that said, Hey, you need help. You've been hacked. Call us immediately. Scared him to death. He's never seen that before. And so he called the number on the screen. And this guy with a very foreign accent convinced him to pay him. Let's see, I've got the paper right here. $439.99 for a year of protection. Okay. So they get on his machine, install a couple of things that supposedly fixed his computer. Well, that happened in October. In November, he gets a similar pop-up. And so he calls that number thinking it's the same company, it's a different company. And he gets told, um, hey, that other company, that first company, they're, they're fake. You've been hacked. We need to get on your computer immediately and fix this solution for you. And so this poor gentleman, he ended up paying $350 to have these guys clean up the other guys' mess. Well, just in February, he gets a phone call from Microsoft. And Microsoft tells him that, hey, you've been hacked. Both those companies are false. Um, and he assumed that Microsoft was the real Microsoft, so they connect to his computer, fix his problem that he was having, and then wanted him to pay like 200 bucks for that third one. And, uh, and that's when he called me, and it's a good thing that he did call me because that would have been sad to pay another 200 bucks. So these scammers almost got him out for almost $1,000 simply because of the fear factor. So I'm here to tell you today, if you ever get a pop-up that says, call us right away, you're in trouble, it's fake. 100% of the time. The one in particular I've got this contract for is called Aero Global Solutions. So I actually called them up to see if I can't get a refund for this gentleman. And the first thing they do is they send me a copy of his agreement which was for 440 bucks and in that agreement it says after seven days there's nothing you can do so while I had him on the phone I said sir why don't you walk us through exactly what you did for his computer that cost him 440 bucks I'm just curious what possibly you could have done so he decides he's going to connect to the computer and I thought to myself first of all by the way if they ever want to connect to the computer definitely don't let them do it um, I actually had a client who let a company connect to her computer and they put a password lock on there and then hijacked it and what they wanted her to do is pay 250 bucks and she could get the password to get back on her machine. So never let him get on there. His machine already had issues so I figured I'll let him get on there because I'm curious to see exactly the trap that they planted for this man. Um, and so I let him on there. I figure I could clean it up if I have to later. And he shows me two things that they did. And I'm telling you right now, I said, sir, you should be completely ashamed of yourself. He showed me a certificate that Microsoft endorsed their company. I want you to know Microsoft does not endorse any other company to fix your machine. Okay, that's just part of the scam. Don't trust anybody on that. And I just basically said, you should be ashamed of yourself. And he tried to get all defensive. Um, justifying his time and then he started spouting out stuff like well why did he call us if he didn't have problems and I said well maybe it's because you guys put a pop-up on his machine and that's he got scared send this around to especially the elderly they're the ones that tend to pay they get nervous they haven't been around technology as much it's new to them this couple was a, an elderly couple and this guy took him for a ride um, anyway, I told him that I was going to make my promise and destroy his company, aeroglobalsolutions.com. Um, spread this around would be the best way. Let's make sure that these guys 
Do not get a second chance at taking somebody else's money. Um, spread this around to your grandparents. Like I said, the elderly tend to be the ones uh, most likely to um, call that number as it, as it pops up.